guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into tonight's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. So first, I have a Patreon where I post four extra videos a month for $3 and you can sign up for that using the link in the description box down below. And if you sign up, you'll also gain access to all the previous ASMR videos that I've posted over there, which at this point is about 70 ASMR videos. Also, I have an OnlyFans that you can sign up for using the link down below as well, and be sure to read the bio for my OnlyFans so you know what I do offer and what I do not offer. Next, if you're looking for a custom video, you can order one on Wizio. And lastly, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, that is in the description box down below as well. So everything is listed down below. All the links are down there, but now let's get into tonight's video. Hi. What are you doing? Our reservation is literally in 15 minutes. Have you been sitting here this whole time? I thought you were getting ready. You know, I thought that we were going to have a nice, normal night as a couple. I thought that this was going to be the one night that you promised me I wouldn't be competing with your video games. All you do is game. All you do is game. Every morning, afternoon, night. Don't you get sick of it? You literally game every day and I'm tired of competing with your controllers. Okay? Yeah. You're always on your computer crafting something, building something, and I'm sick of it. I understand it's your hobby. I get that, yeah. No, I, I understand it's your hobby. I, you've made that perfectly clear, and I've tried to respect that. I've tried to remind myself that everyone deserves time to themselves to have their hobby, to enjoy it, to just have their alone time. But you have a problem. You're obsessed. Literally obsessed. How many hours do you have on that game right now? How long have you been playing it? No. Why don't you take a second to look? Because I'm sure it'll be shocking considering you just bought that game last week. See? You have a problem and I'm tired of it. We we're supposed to go out and have a nice night. I was looking forward to it. I got all dressed up. I just finished doing my hair, doing my makeup, getting dressed. I came down here thinking that you were gonna be dressed as well, ready to go and waiting for me, but no. You're in the same t-shirt you've been wearing for five days. You're playing the same game you were playing this morning when I said goodbye to you. And it looks like you literally haven't moved. Have you even eaten anything today? <sighs> you know, so this is mine now and I'm gonna do with it whatever I want to. And you're probably not gonna like what happens next. I bet Probably, I mean, most definitely. But you promised me a nice, normal night as a couple. And so far you have not delivered on that, which means it is now my turn to show you what happens when I am promised something that falls through. Yeah, I don't do well with disappointment. So, I think how do these I don't even know how these things work am I messing it up 
Ooh. It looks like you just died. I really don't know what I'm doing. But I do know that you keep dying, which is making me kind of laugh. I'm sure you worked really hard to get to this level. Like, way harder than the amount of effort you've even bothered to put into our relationship. Right? Yeah. So, I'm just going to do what I want. And... Excuse me. Hands to yourself. No, I, I know this is your controller, but I'm holding it right now, which makes it mine for the moment. You're right. I shouldn't be holding this. It's not mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash it. Hey. Hey. Step back. I have a hammer. And I'm really angry. I don't think I would... No, I would never cause you any harm. But I would cause your controller harm. So. I'm going to be crushing this. I don't know what it means for your game, but, um, say goodbye. Any final words you want to say? Yeah, it was a good controller. See, in theory, that would be nice, but the problem is our reservation when I came downstairs was in 15 minutes and I don't know what if I been standing here for five six minutes takes us 15 minutes to get to the restaurant they only hold the table for five to ten minutes you still have a smelly shirt on that I am definitely not being seen in public with you looking like that so as you can see it seems very unlikely, as you can see. The odds of us making our reservation are pretty much a zero. So, no, that doesn't mean so you can go back to gaming because we're going to miss the reservation. That means that you're going to get your butt up, you're going to go on open table, try to salvage this night, and find us somewhere else to eat or I really will smash your controller. I wouldn't... I wouldn't mess with me. I had a lot of coffee today and I'm really not in the mood. So if I were you... I know, I'm sorry. I got close to your face. I wasn't gonna hit you with it, gosh. What do you think I am? I'm angry, not crazy. So you are going to walk upstairs. This is you, I'm walking up the stairs. Kind of similar haircuts. Do you turn to the side? Wow, very similar side profile. I never noticed that before. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. You're going to walk up the stairs, you're going to shower because you smell, you're going to shave so that I can actually see what face is under there because, I don't know, you have so much facial hair that for all I know, if you shave that off, might be a completely different boyfriend under there. Really don't know. So, that's what you're going to do. I'm going to be downstairs relaxing, having a glass of wine not finding us an alternate restaurant to go to. That's your job. How can you shower and make a reservation at the same time? I don't know, I've seen you do some crazy stuff in those video games of yours. How do you do that? Because I would think that 
getting ready for dinner and making a reservation on your phone. Pretty simple compared to all these buttons. Am I wrong? That's what I thought. So go upstairs. I'll be down here. And the longer you take, the more wine I drink, the more wine I drink. Well, the more drunk I get, the more drunk I get, the less I care about this controller. And the more likely I am to actually smash it. Oh, and just to, to make matters, to show you how serious I am. I also have these scissors in your computer and all that gaming stuff. Seems to have a lot of cords, right? Yeah. But not like super thick cords. Cords that I could probably cut through. I mean, if I really wanted to. You know, like if I was really angry, if I had finally reached a breaking point with you and almost had it. So. Are you gonna, or should I, it's your call. I'll be happy either way. Okay, well, and if that doesn't motivate you at all, there's also this little thing. I think it goes to your headset, right? It um, makes it so you can like, talk to people while you're gaming, makes it more interactive and fun. What would happen if, I don't know, you couldn't talk to anyone anymore? Would it be as fun for you? I'm just asking for a friend. Mm, yeah, I'm sure this does add a lot to the whole immersive experience of being in your alternate universe gaming. Yeah. Well, this is the real world, and in the real world, I'm angry, starving, and about to call it a night. But I don't mean call it a night as in I'm going to sit here with you and watch you game. I mean call it a night as in I'm about to text my friends go out and leave you here. It's your call though. I'm, I'm so happy either way. You just let me know because I'm just gonna check to see what their plans are. Like I said, you do you and I'll do me is what it comes down to. Um, Yeah. No, I think that's the right choice. Okay, so this little guy might live to see another day. But there's still the matter of the longer you take to get ready, the more wine I'm going to go drink. And then I'm just like not going to be thinking clearly. I'm going to be all warm and fuzzy and just all confused and whoop. This little guy might be in two pieces. And that would really be sad, right? I know I would be so sad because it is so much fun trying to fall asleep at night, hearing you yelling, gaming, playing your little magic universe games. It's my favorite thing. Well, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to, but thank you for the invite. That's like me asking you if you want to watch Desperate Housewives with me. And I've brought that up before. And every time you say no. So it's kind of weird that you think that you think that I would want to game with you? I mean, seriously? So, how about this? You go get dressed. You smell disgusting. 
That shirt is about to walk away on its own. Same with your sweatpants. I think I saw them move and it wasn't you moving. Go put them in the wash and take a shower, please. Or I don't think we'll get let into the restaurant. And while you're up there, I will try to control myself. I will try to relax and remember why I put up with all this. Okay? By the way, if you could not use my body wash, that would be great. Because it freaks me out when we smell the same. I don't know. It's just minor details. But yeah, just, I don't know. You don't need to smell like a peony. Yeah. I know. I know you thought I didn't notice, but I have been noticing it and I've been letting it slip and not saying anything because it's really not a big deal, but it's just, it's just one of those things where you get angry and then you start thinking of other things that maybe got you the tiniest bit angry, but not enough that like it was actually worth saying anything. But now that I'm at that point where I'm angry enough that I want to actually say something to you, I'll just throw that in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's about it. Go take a shower. I may have used all the hot water. And I think this is one of those times where sorry not sorry is the perfect response. But... I'm cooling down, I'm starting to feel a bit better. I still don't really like you as much as I did this morning, but I'm, I'm getting there. And really what would make me the happiest is to take out all of your gaming equipment, chuck it out the door, wipe my hands, close the door, and lock it. That would make me the most happy, but that is a perfect universe, a perfect world, and I know that's just not the case. That's never going to happen. But, um, at least we're going out to dinner. Still need to figure out where. Okay. You have ten minutes. If you're not down here in ten minutes, I'm taking the hammer out, and... I'm, um, I don't know, smashing it. It'd be interesting to pull this apart, do a little dissection. Maybe we could do that. And then crush everything, obviously, so that you can't put it back together because you are smart enough to do something like that. So I just have to cover my tracks, right? Oh, your, your 10 minutes already started. I don't know, like 30 seconds ago. So now you have nine and a half minutes. So I go upstairs. Okay. Good luck. Don't take too long. <laughs>